All right, Wimberley really Texans back in the playoffs. You guys will be here on Friday night. Uh, you know, how excited are you guys for another playoff run? Oh, we're very excited. We've been waiting to get back on the field this moment. We had lost to Fredericksburg out here, and our seniors wanted one more chance, and we got it. And we're about to put on a show Friday night. Yeah, what's the season been like for you guys? You, know, you guys had to wait till the last week to get to your playoff spot. Um, you know, struggled a little bit, but now do you guys feel confident in where you're at right now? Yeah, we did struggle, but we're a Wembley team, so we're not really used to losing. But it really kind of kept our level heads and realized that we need to work really hard to achieve what we want. And now that we have that playoff spot, we're ready to roll. We're excited. Yeah, you know, at this point of the season, what do you, you like about your team? What are you feeling confident about with this with this squad? I love our energy and our brotherhood. This is the closest team I've ever been with. I've been on varsity for three years, and it's the brotherhood. We push each other and work. It's just been incredible. I'm excited to see what we can do. You know, the first year under Coach Warren, I mean, he's been here for a while, but this is his first year as head coach. What's uh, What was that transition like for you guys? Um, it was kind of different. Coach Nelms, everything he did was a little bit different, but coming in with Coach Warren, he really connects with his players really well, and that's what I've loved, and we've all got to know him really well. And like you said, being here all since I was here, not just moving to head coach, it was an easy switch for us. It wasn't that big of a deal. You guys are only a couple years removed from the state championship. You know, from your perspective, are there any similarities between that 2011 team and this team? Um, we both play for Wayne, that's all I can say. Each year it's a different team, different personalities, different skill sets. So I don't really judge us on our past years. I like to see what this year does and keep with this team. But knowing what it takes to win a state championship, what do you um, think this team has to do to get back to that level? Just keep practicing hard and practice. Just challenge each other. Keep working at it and getting each other's skin and push each other as hard as we can. That's going to be the key to our success. You know, it wouldn't be uh, you know, falling you know, fall Wimberley if you guys weren't you know, in the playoffs, the volleyball team doing their thing. What's it like to be in the Wimberley Athletic Department these days? It's it's amazing. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Just the brotherhood and companionship I, there. Everybody challenges each other no matter academics, athletics, any sport you're in. We all challenge each other, push ourselves, and make us the very best. What's it like playing football in a small town? This is a pretty tight-knit community. What's it like uh, growing up and playing football here? It's it's like no other, to be completely honest. It's incredible. You got everyone around you, entire community. Everybody knows your name, and so everybody fails. They all uh, gather around you and help you, pick you up, and everybody you can see they're all there to watch you do it. It's amazing. Now you guys are on the defensive line. That's where all the you know the hard work, all the dirty dirt gets uh, you know plowed. Um, you know, tell me a little bit about one of your defensive linemen. Um, well, I got to give it out to my friends along the starting line. I got me, Tristan Moore, Jackson King, and Cole Larson. We give it after each other, and I wouldn't be out there with anyone else. I give it 110% for each other on the line. It's so much fun playing with them out there.